Hello everybody, this week we're doing a back to basics video and we're making invert sugar. I've encountered invert sugar in a lot of recipes now, so I decided to make a video and show you how to make it yourself. Since it's super easy to make, you just need some water, sugar and a little citric acid. And that is what makes this stay in its liquid form. And just a quick word on the tools that I'm going to be using. I have a heat resistant spatula, a brush, an instant read thermometer and a glass jar where I'll be storing my invert sugar. And one thing I do recommend you doing is to label this jar because we are making a big batch and you're not going to be using this all in one go. So it's best to know when you made this in order to know that it's good to go. Now, why should I care about inverted sugar? Well, this is a common sugar substitute because it has the property that it retains a lot of moisture because you don't get that sugar crystallizing. And this is quite similar to glucose, although inverted sugar is a little bit sweeter than glucose. So let's jump back to the recipe for a bit. I'm gonna combine sugar and water and over low heat I'm gonna bring this to a boil. And once this comes to a boil you can add the citric acid which combined with the heat of the syrup will trigger the chemical reaction that we're looking for. And we're going to let this simmer on low heat for about 20 minutes until we reach a specific temperature. Now, since there's quite a bit of sugar in the syrup, we might get some crystals forming around the edge of the pot. So I do like to go with a brush and just brush some water on top of those uh, bits. Now we have reached the softball stage, which means that our invert sugar is ready. So, time to take it off the heat and put it in our special jar. Now, it's extremely hot at this point, so I do wait a couple of minutes before I dump it into a jar. I do find that it's easier to handle when it's hot, because as it cools down, you'll get a stiffer syrup. And right now, the consistency of this is just what I'm showing on the screen. And already at this point you see that it has a similar consistency to corn syrup or even maple syrup. And that is the goal of invert sugar. This is just another sweetener that has similar properties to glucose. It retains moisture and it avoids crystallization from the sugars. So it's really useful for things like making really smooth ice cream or making super chewy cookies, for example. And as always, I hope you found this useful. I think it really helps to know all these basic ingredients so that we can tackle any recipe. So I'll be here next week with another recipe for you guys. And until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it useful. Thanks a lot and see you next time.